Here's what Dragon Box looks like. The screen is divided into two sections and there are cards on the, the, the play area and here's the Dragon Box. In the beginning there are very gradual lessons in the rules of the game. Here it's pointing out the opposites of the day and the night cards. So one erases the other. And once this lesson is demonstrated and you practice it a few times, you'll probably remember it. But you can always come back and do the lesson again. Here's what the game looks like towards the last of the lessons. It looks more like uh, algebra now. You can see there are some mathematical symbols on display and six-year-old Jack will show you what he can do. That's a plus. So, uh, this dude, I'm going to change him around to the night so he can cancel that dude. And that dude can cancel that dude. So, he can cancel that dude. So, I want to get rid of him. So, I tap on him. And I would want that to be a not morning. So I can't slide him, and then I've got the box, and he'll leave there. Um, so this guy can't, can't, can't slide that dude because that dude's not a day one. So I go back. This is an important point. Jack has pressed the back button, and the ability to do this means that the uh, player can try something out, see if it works, go back, try something else. Great for good quality learning. What's that dot between the dragon box and the... That means like it's a line. So I want to turn him there, so, so see there's a line. So I put him there and I put him there. And then I'll put him there. And then that dude will eat that dude. And I've got the books all by himself.